So with everything that's been going on lately, I have to make a confession. I've been crying a lot lately over the last couple of days, but it might not be because of what you think. Stick around for today's Motivational Monday video and I'll explain why. What's up everybody? Welcome to today's Motivational Monday video. I'm Denise Renee. I'm a creative entrepreneur and in this video series I share with you things that I've been thinking about and I'm growing through and things that I encourage myself with and I share them publicly because I hope that it's going to help somebody. I, I know that I can't be the only one going through some of the things that I'm going through and thinking some of the things that I'm thinking about. And so, you know, if this helps, amen. <laughs> So, like I said, I've been crying a lot lately, um, but not because of, not as a direct result of the whole coronavirus, um, a little bit indirect, but I'll explain what I mean. So, of course, as you know, our world, our world is in a little bit of limbo and chaos. You know, we've got this virus disease going around and it's highly communicable. And, you know, different countries are doing everything that they can to um, help mitigate it, help slow it down, help stop it. Um, and, you know, here in our country, we've really been realizing that in the effects and impacts and everything has been slowly but surely just shutting down over the last seven days. And I honestly think that the biggest impact that this um, outbreak and this disease is going to have is going to be more economic more so than those who are directly affected. Um, one of the things I've been noticing is that while there are the, case, the number of cases on the rise, um, we should pay attention also to the number of survivors who are surviving. There's a vast majority of people who are able to overcome the virus. So that's really some encouraging news um, in the face of those who have sadly lost their lives to it. But those of us who, you know, were not infected, but we are still affected because businesses are shutting down, schools are shutting down. And some of us, that's a direct impact on our livelihood. I don't know about you, but definitely this has been a direct impact on two of my three income sources. You may have heard me say before that I juggle three different income sources. I have a part-time job, I have a part-time hustle, and I have a business. And so for me, it's made me look at that third income source, which in fact, in days past, was actually my primary income source. It's making me look at it like, hmm, well, now it's about time for you to do some miraculous things and take a quantum leap forward. And to be honest, I've been scared. And that's part of why I've been crying. I've been having conversations with um, people in my inner circle over the last uh, couple of days and they've been asking me, well, how are you doing? What are you doing? You know, how are you um, handling and what are you, you know, how are you get making it through all of this? And I've, you know, just been sharing what's been going on and sharing, unfortunately, a lot of my fears. And I just had to listen to myself and I was just like, girl, <laughs> you know that faith-filled person and that confident person that you say that you are? Yeah, that's not how you're sounding right now. <laughs> and you know, a number of my friends have called me out on it. Um, not in a negative or in a bad way, but just really saying, have you looked at things this way? Here's where you may need to change and shift and pivot. And you know, if you know me, when things kind of really hit home, I cry. <laughs> so that's why I've been doing a lot of crying been doing a lot of pivoting and shifting and and self-reflecting and um, you know this this whole situation is is making us all shift and pivot and rethink things and I just had to come to the you know realization that I've just been operating in fear you know pure and simple there's just no other way to to say it and here I go again but we're gonna get it together we're gonna get through this video It's an extremely vulnerable place. I am not gonna cry through this makeup. It took me 20 minutes to put it on. <laughs> but it is extremely vulnerable um, because there was a time where my business was doing very well. Um, I was making like $5,000 a month in my business, but I hit some speed bumps and I got scared. 
and I shut down operations for a couple of months and I was like, you know, do I really want to do this? Am I even able to do, to do this? And dag nabbit, that was a good makeup job too. <laughs> Excuse me as I look in the in the mirror and try to salvage try to salvage this a little bit and maybe that's part of the problem me trying to save face one of my good friends challenged me on that yesterday too so that's why I'm letting the camera continue to roll and I'm not gonna touch up the makeup and we're gonna continue talking the reality is that you know I've been really nervous about really giving my business a really big push because I feel like I've done that before and it didn't quite work out well, that's not exactly true. <laughs> like I told you, there was a point in time my business was doing very, very well. But when I, you know, hit a few road bumps and they happened to happen in succession, I got really scared. I got really nervous and I said, you know, maybe I can't do this. And I kind of threw up my hands and said, never mind. And then I was like, oh shucks. <laughs> if you have no business, you have no income. If you have no income, you have no roof over your head. And that's how I got into picking up a side hustle and a part-time job. And I've been making that the primary thing when actually it's not the primary thing. You know, that's not what I'm here to do. What I'm here to do is to share my gift with the world. And one of those gifts is writing. Writing is easy to me. And writing is something that I've worked on. I've, I've built it up as a skill. I have a wide variety of experiences as a professional writer over the last 20 years. And one of the things I can do is I can help a person write a book. And that's what my business is, if you don't already know. If you want more information, you can go to www.writeyourbook.tips to find out what it's all about. But in this time where, you know, everyone's being encouraged to stay home and work from home, my business has always been virtual. I've worked with people right here in Atlanta over the phone, and I've worked with people out in California, out in Seattle, out in the Midwest. My clients have been all over the US, and I have the potential to really help people, even right now, um, put another income stream in their life or in their business by finishing a book. So now more than ever, people can really use what I have to offer. And right now is not the time for me to be fearful. You know, whenever there's a time of, of shifting, it's also a time of great opportunity. So what I would like to share today, besides my own cathartic crying, uh, that could be helpful to you, is that, you know, take a look at what's going on. Even though things may be shifted, things may be different, where are the opportunities for you? In your career, in your business, there is something else that can be done. Just because things are changing, you wanna get ahead of the changes and be ahead of that curve. So if you're home right now, you're working from home, and now you've got a little bit more time on your hands or your time is a lot more flexible, use some of that time to really reflect, really think, really challenge yourself, um, and step out on faith. It is scary, but it's always worth it. It's always worth it to step out on faith. And so I'm not telling you something that I'm not doing myself. You know, one of the things that I've been working on with, you know, my freed up time is putting together a workshop to help people actually get their book projects started and finished. So if you are someone who has thought about writing a book that can attract clients and opportunities into your business, or if you know someone who's been, who's been wanting to write a book, I'd love for you to share this link with them, www.writeyourbook.tips forward slash jumpstart. It's gonna take you to a page that gives you information about a live workshop that I'm gonna be having in a couple of days where I'm gonna walk a select group of people through actually getting their book started. It's not gonna be one of these things where you get a whole bunch of worksheets that you have to complete on your own. Mm -mm. I'm gonna be walking people through actually getting their book started right then and there on the spot. So that's something that you or someone that you know might be interested in, please give them the link, www.writeyourbook.tips forward slash jumpstart. That's me taking a huge step of faith and helping to create my own economy in the midst of these troubling times. So what's something that you could be doing to help furthering and advancing your business or your career? And what are opportunities that you could be jumping on right now? Share with me in the comments below. If you found this video helpful and, and my face is still together, <laughs> I don't have any streaks, woohoo! Um, and you like this video and you just, you know, appreciate my honesty. I mean, I'm always honest with you guys, but you know what? Sometimes I'm a little bit more honest <laughs> than I plan to be. And you know what? That's okay. 
But if you have any comments, questions, go ahead and drop them below. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and a heart and share it with someone who you think might be interested. If you're not already getting my Motivational Monday videos, then go ahead and like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash meet Denise Renee. Or you can subscribe on my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash Denise Renee Copywriter. And the benefit of being on my YouTube channel is that you can see the full range of videos that I offer, including my writeyourbook.tips daily shows, as well as my Fitness Friday videos. I appreciate you guys for checking out and supporting this video, and I'll see you next Motivational Monday.